viewers as well because uh, we are back, guys, on YouTube um, for the VODs. Um, people on the stream, I just do a second intro for the YouTubers because, well, they sometimes can't catch it live, so I put the VODs on YouTube as well. So uh, to introduce our players, Game 1 is going to be played on Fighting Spirit of what it appears to be. Uh, that being said, it will be a PVZ of hopefully it'll be a fun match. I hope. Um, that being said, that being said, that being said at all, excuse me with that. Uh, Tao Tao, or it says, uh, die Jadong level 14. Um, he has been, he didn't have so much luck with his round. Uh, he went 0-3, uh, against his opponent, and it looks like the game's gonna be getting right here, but, uh, we'll have to see how it goes down. And while that stuff is happening, Fighting Spirit. Alright, so spawning here on the bottom left as the Zerg, it will be Sao Sao or Fake Jadong. You can just put it as Jadong down, down there. And spawning here on the bottom right as the Yellow Protoss, it will be Chao Shen or Reinforced either way. I'm just going to call them by their Chinese names, uh, but you can, you know, Jadong versus Reinforced. Not the actual Korean Jadong. But the actual or the Chinese fake Jadong is why I didn't I didn't have enough room to put fake Jadong in there, uh, but I apologize. So and this is where they change up the colors a little bit, and I believe he just ally he just allied reinforced. So actually these colors are going to be wrong in a second because Jadong is now going to be red. You we should be seeing a morph in the colors soon. At least I think we will. Um, yep, there we go. And then yellow Protoss. Okay, cool. So Chinese Chinese is is you know there isn't that the one thing you should probably know uh, about the Chinese scene is that it is very pro toss heavy. Um, so they can pretty much you know there's a lot of high level play. So when you have when you have a pro toss, it's probably going to be uh, very very high. Now I forget Sao Sao or Sai Sai sorry Sai Sai, who is going is. Uh, the Red Zerg, he had, he struggled. He struggled against his last matchup, which was Zerg versus Protoss. So I don't know how he's going to go up here. He opened up with nine pool, I believe, every game in the past. And in the past matchup, I think two or three days ago. So that being said, it's, I guess it's just his, his own preference right there. So we'll have to find out how it really plays out. But just wanted to share that with you guys. And I do have the chat open if you want to say anything. So just to give you a fair thing for that. Okay. And we need some Brood War music because what kind of game, what kind of cast with Brood War wouldn't have actual Brood War sounds? So it's going to look like a Forge FE from Reinforce. Nothing really bad. And we have south positions, like left, right. These positions, bottom left, bottom right hand positions here. So I don't know if Protoss wants to take their third where they would nest, where their natural third would be or if they're going to take it around the three o'clock instead. But we'll have to see. I, I I don't think in Zerg versus Protoss you want to expand to your opponent as Protoss. I could be wrong. I have never really given him much thought. I know in Terran versus Protoss, you can say it's good because then you're you you can as Terran you can defend it well, but you can also play defensive while attacking as well. So there goes it on the cannon. He's gonna go Nexus before cannon, which against a nine a nine pool, uh, but I don't think it was nine pool with speed, so it doesn't look like it's gonna be an all-in from Sai Sai right now, but. Yeah. Okay. And no, okay, so no third hatch down yet. Surprisingly. I think I think he's sending up a drone right now. And this is this is one of the downsides. This is your first time ever, you know, tuning into uh, CSOL. The uh, the VODs aren't the greatest quality in terms of the minimap. Sometimes something may look red when it's not, it's just bad pixelation. It's it's hard for me to read sometimes. I do my best. But I don't think he's doing a three hatch build. No, okay, there goes down the third hatch, okay. Bam! Going down. Okay. So I think they're looking pretty standard. Other than the nine pool that's just, you know, trademark to... Or that or that tends to be Sai Sai style, at least. John... Uh, John Hu? No, no, not John Hu. That was his opponent. Chong something. I forget his name. Chao Shen. Chao Shen. Chao Shen is already transferred probes. Okay. Well, that's actually really nice timing, at least. Uh, or not. Okay, there we go. So, I don't know if he's going to go Corsair. Um, 
I've seen, I mean, PvP in China can be any, any, I mean, it, any, there's no, like, one really, really central build. If you, if you watch Gambit Cup, like, week one, I haven't watched week two of China yet, which I really need to, because I really like Heroes, the player, but that being said, that, the, the Gambit Cup, and I'm assuming week two, it may appear that Protosses from China don't go Reavers. That is uh, not the case. It's just because Gambit Cup is played through iCup or Fish. I forget. So there's more latency for the Chinese players than they're used to. So Reavers in, uh, use a, a really, really high number of, or well, really high APM to really make it co work well, rather. It takes a lot of control to make them work. So because of that, I think that's the reason why you don't see Reavers used as much, at least in week one. I, I don't know if we no week two use them again I apologize for not getting ahead of time but but I do know the results of that and I'm quite sad of that uh, how Chinese perform trying to perform brother but uh, there was an initial zealot sent over from reinforced or Chaoshen to the natural of Tsai uh, Tsai and not really not really doing much is happening right now Spyro's going down Everything is looking pretty, pretty standard. There goes the Stargate, then Citadel, so nothing... Okay. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, it's just rebuffering. <laughs> My bad internet, look at that. I was like, wait, did the server just go down? Uh, and initially, um, pre-cast, I set up everything thinking that I could just immediately just go right into casting games, and I just had them all loaded up, and everything was uh, pretty, but I realized... My computer is having difficulty running the actual like video to do that because I had like eight videos run run up or however many games that were loaded up. Now this is only best of five, so I just threw out a random number there, so not to spoil you or anything of like that. But so that's a pretty tight wall by by reinforced right there. I don't think it's going down anytime soon. From a Ling bus that Sai Sai may have initially wanted to go because he's done that round of eight against his opponent. I think it was. I don't even know who he's played. I forget who. Actually, no, I can probably tell you. John Hoon. He played John Hoon. It's hard to say he played John Hoon beforehand and got utterly demolished. Game three, though, of John Hoon versus Sai Sai, you should definitely check out. That was a very entertaining game, uh, even though the outcome of Sai Sai didn't do too well. I like Sai Sai. I don't know why, but I have always liked this guy. I, I don't know why. I guess it's just a Zerg versus Protoss thing. Uh, I just... I feel like Zergs have a very difficult time against Protoss. It's not like I even play Zerg or anything. I just feel like they have a really tough time against this two-based Protoss. It's so powerful. But uh, that being said, not to say this game is Imba or anything. So plus one starting to come out. DTs. Okay, so Corsair DT is going to be the course of action for Reinforced here. And has to be a little bit careful of those Scourge. I don't think they're going to connect, though. There's, they're too far behind, and Cannons are going to be up in the main base before they can even finish. We have, a like, a link contain, but really, when Reinforced wants to go, you know, push out, he will be fine. Reinforced will be okay. There, there's really no worry about... Those links are really not going to stop any kind of Zealots from going out. At least, I don't think. From the, fr from the initial Zealots that I saw. So, he's bringing down three more gateways now, and, yeah, this is where Reinforced is probably going to be going out right now. And he's going to do something the DT out, though. So I don't really know how active those Corsair have been. But, you know, we'll have to find out. We'll see if the Overlords are in position or if they've all moved from their initial position where the DT can do some damage. Because uh, most of the time, Zergs are very, very... Zergs don't really have much of an issue. And he's going to be expanding to the 6. Okay. Uh, a little interesting move, but... I guess it kind of makes sense because now the third base of Zerg isn't as close, potentially, so there's not going to be as many reinforcements and all that fun stuff. But that third base is very far away from Protoss, so I don't really know where he's going to pressure. Uh, you know, that third base is very far away. I don't think he has speed. Yeah, I don't think he has speed done, no. And the Scourge will identify that third base is coming down fairly fast. Um... And there isn't that much Zerg on the map right now. I guess I guess Side Side's been droning a lot because that is not a very powerful force at this point. But then again, I don't think we're hit even hit ten minutes. But he will deny this expo. So you know, reinforcing a little greedy right there. But we'll be pushed back from just a couple hydras and lanes, which is surprising. Um, 
at this storyline. I never know what happened to the DT though. He has one more in the main base. I don't, yeah. But like I said earlier, Zergs don't really have much of an issue with DTs. Unless Corsairs do a really, really good damage on the Overlord count. Because the hope for the Corsair is that they, you know, mo move off the Overlord from where they would be, where they would be able to attack DTs, or they're just killed off, and that's when the DTs can do a lot of damage. But because the Corsairs, at least, I mean, what do we saw? Like two of them potentially, you know, going in there. I, I don't really see that. We have Lurker Aspect being researched now, and yeah. Fourth base going up for Sai Sai might be that that lurker is probably gonna be for more of a defensive lurker than oh, I'm thinking of that fourth base because there's really no need. I mean, of course you want more bases. I mean, it's never a bad thing, but because the fourth base is going up, I'm going to predict it's more for well, I was gonna say it's more for a defensive, but the amount of hydras that are out and that the amount of lurkers that he can potentially morph. You know, he might not, he may just set up a lurking contain on this map. It's not Sniper's Ridge or version one, not version one Sniper's Ridge, but you know, lurking contains can still work on this map. It's, it's a choke point nonetheless. It makes it difficult for Protoss. The only problem though is with the lurker contain this late, I just feel like though, we have a Dark Archon so early. Wow, okay. Well, that's something that I would, I would also say about, about China sometimes. I mean, I've seen more Dark Archons in, like, the four or five cast sessions that I've done of China than I've ever seen any other kind of foreigner play. But then again, I don't really cast a lot of high-level stuff. But that Dark Archon's very interesting because I don't think we're having Beetleus transition. Unless I'm wrong, unless I didn't see it. Wow, this place is dead. Bobius. 16 viewers. I think that's 17 now. I think, I think that's a... Um, I think that's a solid record for me. Because it's the first time I ever put a Team Liquid event on. Because I know we just do YouTube videos and I just make a thread on regarding that. But Alright, so 10 minutes have passed and he still has a Dark Archon. And he's getting... Is that the increased energy for Dark Archon? But that's probably because he just made spare DTs and realized he couldn't do anything with them. So hey, why not make a Dark Archon? Maelstrom's not bad. Maelstrom is really, really good with in correlation with with Storm. So, both Male Storm and Storm are very, very awesome indeed. So, yeah, and I apologize for, like, the really, really bad quality of the stream, but that's just because, purely because of the, um, of the uh, videos itself. Um, and the recording of it, but Zerg is off a lot of bases right now, and we have these just this lone like. Oh, that's a lot of lurkers morphing. Okay, that's like at least ten if I counted correctly. All right, so what do we have? Like ten of these guys right now? Yeah. The, okay, I'm just looking at how much red that Sai Sai has right now on the map, and because Reinforce has not been able to claim a third base yet, um. This is where Zerg's get a lot scary. This gets really, really scary. He's trying to set up a contain desperately right here, and it may work because this those zealots were going to be one of the reasons how to break down lurkers. Um, just any the more able bodies you have, the better. But I think there's just too many lurkers here, and there's a, such a nice spread there. Storm is not going to be the most effective thing um, where if they were all stack piled up. Those those hydras though are running into a lot of storms, which isn't great. But yeah, this lurker contain is probably going to allow at least Sai Sai to get up a 5th base. Probably around the 9. Um, that's something I would predict. And again, denying that base, or killing off the pylon at least. But this time, and... But this is really all, all where, you know, Reinforce can really take a 3rd base at this point. There's no way he can take the 3 o'clock, where he initially, or 2 o'clock, I guess. I don't really know what to call that. That that third base right over here. I don't know what you would really want to call it, but anyway. Just just pointing it out there. And that lone Dark Archon hits 200 energy, so he has enough for two Maelstorms. A nice Maelstorm going down, and this is reminiscent of game three uh, versus John Hoon. Like the last cast I did with Maelstorm and Dark Archon. Go watch that game. I guarantee you're going to like it. Okay, but we're gonna have a lot of lurkers coming in here. Uh, nice storm, nice defensive storms at least. Oh yeah, these lurkers are dead. 
but it looks like uh, reinforcements have broken down the contain. But how long can this army last for only off of two base? Because I mean, the other thing is, Sai Sai still has as much as way more production than what reinforce could ever have. That being said, you know I don't really know how long reinforce can keep up this, this push if he can survive it for for as long as he can off of like what like a five hatch. Now maybe more like because wait was it maybe went to like five hatch Hydra and then add so like six hatcheries potentially. But this, I mean, does it, will it even matter? Because, I mean, once he's in the natural, things can go spiral down here. And the benefit to this, though, is now this is allowing Reinforce to get up a third base. The amount of map, map control right now that Reinforce has. He's going to go into the natural right here. More Reinforcing Hydra are coming down from the top left-hand Expo. But this is one of the issues of taking such a far-off Expo for Zerg. Um, it just takes a while for them to reinforce their own base. Um, but it also makes sense uh, to, you know, pressure the, uh, also, Makes it difficult for Protoss to get reinforcements attack the third base, but it's taking a god awful long time to really get that far. He's not really doing too much damage. I mean, drones are not being pulled off the line, so he's gonna lose a couple drones right here. But only if like Hydra uh, dragoons are left, and Hydras will clean this up. Hydra Link, the more reinforcing zealots will be making their way over here. Hydras are doing their best to try to micro down the. Dragoons right here. I think a new wave of units should be able to clear this up, but uh, okay, we have he's just continuing to rally units over here. Now I, I think there's some something going on at the six o'clock over there. I'm just he's just not giving me a camera shot of it, so I don't know how it's gonna go down. But woo -hoo -hoo. okay, wow, okay, ow, all right, so. I, I'm, I'm at a loss here to tell who's actually winning. Uh, losing a High Templar to Lurkers? No, he's not going to. Okay. I mean, he's lost his natural. I mean, that's a big blunder. Now he's back on equal footing as Protoss. And of what I understand as well, of what I've heard from other casters, watching games, and stuff like that, just through experience, sometimes Zergs can still pull through even if they're on equal base uh, footing as Protoss. But he's putting on a second Hydra Den. Oh, he must have gotten sniped off, which is another issue, because now he can't make Hydras for a while. Uh, that's not good. And that and those eggs do not make a tight wall either, I don't believe. So, all right. 15 minutes have passed in the game. I... See, like, this is, like, what was happening to Sai Sai all, all of us. He, he was, like, had, like, a good position, but then he's, like, well, I don't have anything back in my main base. And then I just die. I don't, I don't know if Sai Sai lost, but he's lost his natural, which is a big issue. Uh, with a big issue, because now all, because now the issue though, is now more Protoss units have a faster rally time than the the bases of Sai Sai going into the main base. So he's gonna lose all of his tech that he initially placed in his main base, which is gonna set him further behind. So he's probably gonna have to remake the layer sometime like now. Because it's really nothing. Because how how can Sai Sai re reinforce right here? He has a lurker, it looks like. But he's going to lose all of his drones. He's going to lose the spire easily. He may not lose the lair, depending on how. I mean, the lair does have a lot of health. But these uh, zealots are not tar targeting buildings that they really should be. Or tech, I should say. Oh, it looks like it did get cleaned up. Okay. I was going to say if he target fired the spire. He would be in a, a phenomenal shape. But with Protoss taking a fourth base, I mean, three base Protoss is already, like, considered really, really powerful. And a four base Protoss versus a three base Zerg, that's something that I could not really justify is good for Zerg. Or f neutral. Because you never want to be down a base from your opponent ever, so... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of production. There's going to be a lot of gateways being thrown down for the Reinforce soon. And I think he'll probably take game one. I think I think we're in the works for take for Reinforce to take game one. Yep, yep. Yeah, there's just... I think Sai Sai's trying. But it's just not having a good amount of luck with his Protoss. Uh, and I wonder if it goes back to like the nine pool opening that he always does anyway. But anyway... Aside from that, yeah, these Hydra are dying. GG by Fake Jadong or Sai Sai. And so game one, gonna go down to Reinforced here. So congratulations to Reinforced here. And Percy, 
Rapper Cry DW. I don't know why you're watching this at 2 a.m. in the morning, but especially because it's a weekday. But anyway, so that's going to close game one. Now I got to go figure out. I'm just going to go. People on YouTube, that was a good VOD.